okay guys welcome to the fourth tutorial and uh, what we have to do is obviously we have to work on game fragment but before that we have to unleash the power of Kotlin and to do that obviously we have to create questions in our quiz we have to create uh, yeah so that is why we we would need some additional stuff so what I'll do first is I'll just create a question class and obviously here there are no methods so just the variables and values that we are storing so this is a data class this is the reason there is a word data here and I'm just going to paste all the variables that I need and I'll explain so there is this ID that is a question ID there is a question images because obviously drawable is an integer drawable resource is an integer and there are options and the correct answer and next what we'll do is we'll just create a file and we'll just name it like we have to choose the object type and what we are here going to do is create a method or a function that is going to return an array list of our this question so what we are going to do is we we'll just name this get question and um, we are telling that this returns question array list Obviously, here we have to return something. So, first, question list is equals to array list question, and we can return this here. But we have to add questions. this list now this is our list and we have to add questions and we can add as many as we like so what I'll do is what is the way to add is question one is question now here is the ID one Question number one. Uh, the question What country this flag is oh, wow. Flag is this. Obviously, we need an integer here, so. with the question we'll just add an integer drawable resource the photo and uh, we have options so first option is Australia second option is Argentina and the third option is going to be Armenia fourth option is USA and the correct answer is option one okay so what I'll do is I'll just move it on a separate line so it's more readable um, okay yeah so what we are doing here is I'll just tell once again we had created this data class right and we 
intentionally put all these variables that okay we need these values if we want to create and reuse this question for our constant so we can reuse this like to create new questions also but the variables are same right this is the power of of object oriented programming right so we have made our first question and what I'll do is q1 is added to this is our first question but but now we will have different values obviously but we are using same object okay so you can create many questions but I'll just like copy paste so I don't want to bore you by writing all the questions but yeah okay so I'm going to paste all the questions here okay so here what we have done is we have one object again I'm telling you and we are creating many questions from that same object obviously this is q2 this is q3 and what is this this is like correct answer is 3 means the correct answer is option 3 and you will understand it way later in the tutorial obviously that is a bit difficult that but once you understand it you will know that okay it was the best option to use an integer as an indicator of the correct choice not the text itself okay so what we have done is we have created this and now we are coming to the game fragment and what I'll do here is I'll take some variables and question list this is a real list question and we have to import it okay So M question list constants question. What we did is in the constant file here we have created this method or function that returns an array list, right? And here in the game fragment we are taking a new list and adding all those questions into the new list called m questions list okay that's it for this tutorial or if you want me to show you if we have all the questions then yeah this is a good idea we will just log this before we end this tutorial so log And what I'll do is I'll just try to log these once the activity is or once the fragment is started and I'll just uh, ahead of time I'll just type questions because that is our tag to track the messages posted under this tag so now what I'll do is I'll just type my name starting this is the question the loop is running obviously the question is same but what, what I'll just do is I'll just change the something more string like option one let's say I want to see the, the whole point of this loop is just to show you that we have successfully added all the questions into this list 
So I just enter my name again. Okay, so these are all of the options that we are seeing. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, we have successfully created questions and we have successfully added all those questions into a new list and now we can use this to fetch all the questions and obviously in the next one we will display all of our questions here we will like you know work with options and so on and so forth okay so thank you for watching this tutorial and i will see you in the next one